Hi everybody, this is Carolina Martin, and I am with American actor Grand L. Bush, the first human in the world to bring Balrog to life on the big screen. And we all want to know, how did that happen back in 1994? Thank you, Carolina, and thank you, Ty Singh, for arranging all of this. And thank you, my fantastic Street Fighter fans. It's great to be here with you. So I hear you want to know how I became the first Balrog back in 1994. There are two versions, actually. My personal experience and the one our fabulous director, Stephen E. D'Souza, told my wife. During early spring of 1994, Universal Pictures phoned my agency, saying a film adaptation based loosely on the super popular video game Street Fighter was in the works. The casting director wanted me to come in and read for one of the major roles. I did. That's when I met Stephen E. D'Souza for the very first time. The next thing I knew, I'd landed the gig. My transformation into Balrog the Ferocious started straightway. My physical development fell under the watchful eye of former kickboxing champ Benny the Jet Yurkidis. Before leaving the States, I worked out at his gym in North Hollywood for a whole month. We spent four more weeks running up and down the streets of Bangkok fighting through stifling heat, walls of pollution. We jogged and sprinted for more than three kilometers each day, energized by bodybuilding shakes, a healthy diet, and a desire to reach one goal, to create a lean, mean fighting machine. Yes, it was an exotic Bangkok where I lost more than a stone or 15 pounds in body weight within 30 days. And by the time we left for Australia, for two more months of filming, I had indeed become Balrog, personified. Even when Street Fighter the movie was being developed, it came to the drawing board with a huge ready-made fan base. So I've always known that it was destined to become a cult classic, and I'm honored that its popularity continues to be reinvented. I enjoyed working with Stephen E. D'Souza. His intelligence is only exceeded by his kindness and generosity. You see this lady with Ming and me? That's my wife. When D'Souza learned she was an acclaimed journalist in real life, he put her to work. In both Bangkok and Australia, he provided jobs for an army of artisans. And Balrog, the incomparable character I brought to the silver screen, oh, he's been immortalized. What that means is this. For as long as dedicated Street Fighter enthusiasts like yourselves continue to click that play button, and gather to celebrate this commercially successful film, my image lives on. Mm -mm. Game not over. And for that, I remain eternally grateful.